Hi everybody, so for our first activity for the EYFS Home Star Day today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Christmas star. So, I'm going to be using this nativity set here to tell you all about the three wise men and how they followed the Christmas star. Long ago, there were three wise men. Casper, who had a purple cloak and a grey beard. Melchior, who had long white hair and a cloak edged with gold, and Balthazar, who had a black beard and a blue cloak. The three wise men were so clever, some people also called them kings. One night, as they studied the sky, they saw a big, bright star. What's that? asked Caspar. It's so bright, said Melchior. I think it's a sign that a great king has been born, said Balthazar. I wonder where it leads, thought Caspar. The three wise men set out to follow the bright star in the sky and see if it did actually lead to a new great king. Each took a gift with them. Melchior brought gold, the same colour as the edge of his cloak. Caspar brought frankincense and Balthazar brought myrrh. These gifts both smelled beautiful. The wise men followed the star all the way to Jerusalem where they found the great palace of King Herod. They wondered if Herod would know anything about the new king, so they asked to see him. King Herod, have you seen the bright star? asked Caspar. We think it's a sign of a new king. Do you know anything about it? asked Melchior. We want to give him some gifts, said Balthazar. Herod was not a kind man. He was worried because he wanted to be the only king in the area. He asked his advisers about it, and they told of a baby born in Bethlehem. Herod went back to the three wise men. A baby has been born in Bethlehem. Go and find out more about this new baby king and come back to tell me all about it. The three wise men set off to Bethlehem, continuing to follow the star until it stopped over a stable, surely not the place where a king had been born. When they went into the dark room, they found Mary and Joseph looking over a manger where little baby Jesus was wrapped warmly in cloths. They immediately knelt and handed him their treasures, gold from Melchior, frankincense from Caspar and myrrh from Balthazar. Mary smiled and thanked the men for their gifts. Now that the three wise men had seen the baby, they knew he would grow up to be a great man. They realised that Herod would not be kind to him, so they left for home taking a different path to fool him. And as they left, the Christmas star sparkled in the sky behind them. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas star story. We're going to be making some Christmas stars in a moment, so I look forward to seeing you for activity two.